Hi there. In today's video, I'll discuss some of the accessories and adapters I use for my comms. I know comms in general is not a very exciting topic and discussing comms accessories is even less so, but it's an important topic and if you spend some time focusing on the accessories that make sense for your specific comms kit, then you'll increase your efficiency and interoperability. What I mean by interoperability is the ability for systems to operate in conjunction with each other. One of the ways I try to achieve this goal is by leveraging adapters. I typically use adapters on my HTs so I can swap antennas between radios. I don't use them on all of my HTs, just the ones where I frequently change antennas. For example, I have a couple of radios in my comms go bag, and I often change antennas from the rubber duck antenna to either a magnetic mount or slim jim antenna, depending on my needs at the moment. This is not an exhaustive list of all the adapters on the market, but these are the ones that I use the most, and I wanted to give you an idea of what they look like. I purchased this assortment of adapters from Amazon, and if you're looking for a way to quickly change out antennas, and as an example, I have this bowfang here with, with an adapter on it, and if you wanted to quickly go from the stock antenna to another one, you have that convenience factor, and I'll just show you how quickly you can change these out <clears throat> and speaking of antennas this particular one is from a company called cattail antennas and you can weave this in between molly rigging or through clothing I believe when you order on their website you have the option of ordering an adapter that works for your respective radio some other connectors I have for my radios are quick disconnect adapters I purchased from a company called Comms Gear Supply, and I'll show you how those work. I purchased three of these connectors from Comms Gear Supply, and this one has a Kenwood plug that works with Bofangs like this UV5R. And I also have adapters for my Yaesu VX6 and FT65. And what's cool about these is I can leave the adapter in the radio and quickly switch HTs with the rest of the um, headset that plugs into my electronic ears. And that's this harness here. And the mic clips to my clothing. And I'll show you how this works. And if you wanted to switch radios, you would just disconnect this and plug it into another HT. And like the wearable cattail antenna, the wires, with the exception of the short run, are braided material. And I frequently use both the headset and the antenna uh, in the field. And I've been very happy with the quality and with how everything works overall. As a side note, although I'm using electronic ears if the batteries die, you will still receive audio from the radio. I tested it out and the audio still comes through, even if the electronic noise canceling is turned off. The last talking point I wanted to cover is regarding extra batteries. Whenever I'm out in the field, I always carry an extra battery or two, and for the Bowfangs, those batteries are fairly inexpensive. Here I have a couple of the extended batteries, and these have the DC port on the side, so you can charge them via USB. And I don't know if it's just me or if other people have noticed this, but the extended aftermarket batteries don't seem to last as long as the stock battery. But that may just be my perception as I haven't tested the two head to head to confirm if that's true. However, if you have an IP rated radio like this VX6, and you're in the market for an extra battery, you'll want to make sure what you're purchasing is close to the stock battery as possible. For example, there's a lot of aftermarket VX6 batteries on Amazon that I've looked at, and I'm sure those are fine batteries, but I've noticed some of them don't have the seal around the battery like the original one does. I was able to source this battery uh, for the VX6 from DX Engineering, and they did have uh, one available with the seal 
that is like the original, although it was a bit of a pricey battery. And I don't know if you can see the seal around the, the battery or not. The reason this is important for this particular radio is since it's IP rated, part of that rating is due to all the seals like this one around the battery to ensure protection from the elements. Since some batteries can be expensive, if cost is a factor in your purchasing decision and you just want an extra battery, then the ones off Amazon will service your needs. Just keep in mind that you may subject the radio to water or dust intrusion without that seal. I know this wasn't a very sexy topic for a video, but sometimes doing the small things and having attention to detail is what will set you up for success when it counts. Do you need to go buy everything I just showed you? No, you don't. The point of this video is to get you thinking about the best way to standardize your equipment so you can ensure all of your tools play well with each other. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.